हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट 16 इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप्स एंड पॉलिसी मेकिंग आवर टॉपिक इज डेमोक्रेसी एंड इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप्स पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज फाउंड देमसेल्व्स ओस्ट्रेक्सिसाइड एंड कंस्टेंट इन द डिकेड ऑफ 1960s by the rising control and capture of their political constituencies by the special interest groups instead of issues originating from within the parties they were sparked by these groups and the parties found themselves as followers of interest groups the institutional structures of the society provided limited opportunity for the expansion of the base of party activities thus even the parties created their own interest groups to promote their agenda of politics thus the emerging fear has been that political parties are getting distanced from people and getting more occupied with the gains coming from the interest groups thus the greatest fear for democracy comes from the fact that the political parties are central to the development and expansion of democratic consolidation but which may now not be in a position to represent the wishes and aspirations of the people thus this situation is a rejection of the widespread notion that democracy was a functional requisite of an ethnic imperative however this forms the core dilemma of the debate on governance democracy is still possible and all this depends upon the way strategic interactions with all actors in the society is undertaken The solution to this perplexing debate on democratization lies in the creation of a set of institutions which have been agreed upon by the political parties of the citizens. Thus modern democracies which may look like compromises may also lead to paradoxical regimes of interest but as schemeter cautions one does not have to be strict a devotee of mature olson logic of collective action to recognize that once the uncalculated enthusiasm of participating in the mobilizational phase of the regime change is over the temptation to free ride on the efforts of others is likely to settle in now let us have a look on conclusion it is not a logical conclusion that the political parties have lost their representative character in policy process and are now grouping in to win the support of interest groups they are still the most accepted widely dispersed and territorially represented structures of democracy which continue to be in an advantageous position as frontline representatives of people thus despite the rise of interest groups in power and number democracy by interest groups can never be replaced by democracy by political parties public policy process cannot in times to come depend on interest groups as core functionaries since their own internal democracy is much in question and is not likely to be supported in electoral politics beyond a point a thorough institutional build up may ensure that parties are able to retain their central role in performing their major role in present society to conclude interest groups and civic organization cannot substitute for coherent political parties 
with broad and relatively enduring basis of popular support for interest groups cannot aggregate interest as broadly across social groups and political issues as political parties can now let us sum up the unit an interest group is an organization which tries to influence public policy for its own personal and partisan interest without being part of the government this unit examines the role of interest groups in the functioning of democracy and the interest group theory of government this theory suggests that the policies are made on the basis of the politician own selfish interest gain it propounds the idea that the causes for the failure of policies should be sought in its outcomes as to who gains and who bears the losses for the failed policies the calculation would be cost of collective action in organizing and lobbying for a piece of regulation by interest groups and the ones with a high organization cost would lose the ones who win are dominant groups who are smaller and better organized in their demands and also pay a fees for the gain of their group this is a social waste and results in politi- policy failure interest groups have classified variously as privileged intermediate and latent or as producer groups consumer groups and allistic groups there has been an increase in the insignificance of the role politics cal parties are playing in mobilization and interest articulation interest articulation has become associated more with professional groups the inability of political parties to divert attention from their petty regional and personal politics to issues of development and poverty eradication rise of neo corporatism and cause groups with single issue in western europe are all party responsible for this parties utilize the consolidated unity of the cause groups for its own benefit seeking their electoral support and representing their agenda in turn and the number of members in a group is not related to the pressure which the groups can bring on the party the emerging fear is that the political parties are getting distanced from people and occupied with gains from the interest groups this is a greatest fear for democracy as parties are central to development and democratic consolidation and do not represent the aspirations of the people However parties have not lost their representative character and are still the most accepted structure of democracy interest groups cannot aggregate interest as broadly across social groups and political issues as political parties can Now let us wind up the session and we have come to the end of the unit thank you very much for engaging yourself with a self learning podcast